So this tip is all about trimming components with a non-planar surface. So let's say you have this brick and you want to trim a part of the brick away. You don't want to just put a work plane through the whole piece and split it. You want to actually have it follow a really specific path. So what I'll do is create a 2D sketch and I'm going to extrude a surface. I could do this with a revolve. I could do this with a sweep. You could really do it with any type of geometry. It just needs to be a surface. Once my sketch is done, I'll finish the sketch. I'll issue my extrude command. Make sure you switch over to surface. I'm going to make sure that my surface passes completely through my component. So I'll make sure this goes both directions and I'll drag that surface so I can see exactly where it's trimming. This is really important so you know what you're going to be removing. Now that I have my surface exactly where I want it, I will use my split tool. The split tool allows you to choose the splitting tool. Then you can choose how you want to split. I could just let it split all of the individual surfaces. In this case, when I issue the command, what's going to happen is it's going to basically take all those individual faces and split them. What I really wanted to do was get rid of a part of that component. So I'll just hit undo. I'll reissue my split command. In this case, I'm going to choose that same tool to split it. But now I want to trim the solid. Once I choose the trim solid, I can flip the arrow to remove one side of the surface or the other. And that's how you trim a component with the surface.